Welcome to the fourth video on CSS layouts. In this video, we're going to add the main section. So let's get going. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste here like we always do. And now what we're going to do here is we're going to use a class instead of IDs. And we're going to name this main. And of course, you will remember in the previous series, IDs are for specific elements that are unique. But we're going to reuse this main content pane again. So I want to use a class for this. So let's go ahead and create some rules for our main class. And we'll just do another copy and paste. And we will rename this to dot main. And you will remember that the dot signifies class. So we are not going to use a hashtag here. We're going to use a dot. And we will keep the margins at 10 pixels. And we're going to get rid of the height property. So we're going to have no height and no width, and I'll explain that in a minute. And we'll keep the border radius at 5 pixels, and we're going to change the background color to a lighter color. So it's going to be E5E4D7. That's what we're going to use. So let's go ahead and save this. And uh, let's add some padding here. And remember, that is the space between the border and the text. And we'll make that 20 pixels. Now, you can play around with this. Um, you can set this to 10 or 15 pixels. You can test out which one you like the best. But I'm going to use 20 pixels. And then we're going to increase the font size up 10%. So this is at 14 pixels. So we're going to increase this by about 10%. And remember, this is an inheritance thing, so this was set at 14 pixels, and then we can increase that size based off what we set here. So it allows us to easily change the size up here if we want. So again, we'll be at 110%. So let's save everything we've got here, and we'll save our index.html, and let's open up our web page. And you can see now we've got our nice section here. Now in the header and in the navigation section, I didn't add any content, but let's add some content here because we want some semblance of a layout. So we'll do that right now. So let's close this out. Now, of course, you will see that with no height and no width, this is the default that we get here, right? This is what we get. There's nothing in here, but we're about to put some content. So let's close this out. And I've already typed this out, so I'm just going to do a copy and paste here and I'll explain it. So here we've got a heading that I created, which is H1. We, Of course, we talked about that in the last series. And this is going to be a history site. So I've decided to go ahead and talk about Hannibal. And you can probably tell that I like history a lot. So I typed this all in, and this is going to be our paragraph. So we have our H1 heading and our paragraph that's going to go under it. So let's save this. And now let's open this up. And you can see how this sized according to the content we have. So that's why it's useful that in your main content section not to put a width or a height because it will always size appropriately to the content that you put in. And that's kind of nice. Now here we set a fixed height because we don't want these to expand out. But for the content, because this area will be dynamic, we'll be adding more and more content here, we want this to size appropriately every time we put new content in here. And if I set a fixed height, we'd have to reset the height every time. So this makes it easier to maintain the site. So one thing we want to do here is we want to go ahead and style the heading. We already expanded the size of the text and set that at 110%. But now let's go ahead and style the heading. So let's close this out. And I already typed this out, so we can just copy and paste in here. And here's our H1, of course. So we'll be styling the H1 element right here. Um, I'm going to increase the font size by 120% because we want the heading a little bit larger than the text in our paragraph. So we'll put that at 120. Now you can play around with these percentages and get the percentage that you like. And then I put in a color that's kind of a red color so the heading really stands out. So let's go ahead and save everything and we'll take a look at our new look and feel. So let's go ahead and open this up. And you can see now we've got this nice heading here. Now eventually what we're going to do is we're going to create a link for this for the main article. So this is kind of like the, the tidbit and then people will be able to drill into here and we'll expand out to a full page. But this is our main page and we just want to give you a taste of what this article is about. And actually we'll put some thumbnails in here later. But you can see how this expands out nicely. So let's add some more content. Let's add like another article that we created. So let's close this out. And then let's go ahead and paste. I already have this typed out again, so we'll just copy and paste this in here. And here you see now that I'm reusing the H1. Now, you can actually make this an H2, and then this would be a little bit smaller. But I actually like to use the reuse the H1 because I like the titles to be the same size. But you don't have to do that. You can make this smaller if you want to. So let's go ahead and save this, and let's reopen this up. 
and you can see that this sized again. We've just added the content and it resized it and fit everything nice and neat right into here. I don't have to adjust the height. I don't have to adjust the width. It does it nice and neat for us. So that is going to be our main section. Now in the next video, we're gonna add a sidebar over here. So this is gonna be what's called the two column layouts, kind of a classic layout. So we're gonna have a sidebar over here. And in order to do that, we're gonna to have to float our sidebar element. Now, um, I will uh, copy and paste this entire div into the message board so that you don't have to type all of this out. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video.